Hi, I'm Jane. I'm a pilgrim on Student and Pilgrim Cross. Um, this year we're doing a virtual pilgrimage because we can't walk as we normally would from different points across England carrying a wooden cross to the shrine in Walsingham in Norfolk. So we are gathering and keeping our community alive virtually and I'm very happy to be part of this. This is a station. A station is a stopping point on a journey. And it is a reflection shared by a pilgrim, a member of the community. Much as a station of the cross might be a reflection also in Holy Week. Um, I find it hard to keep these things short, but I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> We begin by putting down the cross and we say together a prayer, which I enjoy because the cross is heavy and I like to stop and have a rest and listen to people. We say, we adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Um. I had an opportunity this week to talk to some fellow pilgrims about forgiveness. I wanted to talk about other things today, but I'm going to try and keep it short. I work in a school. Um, and most, pe most of us have been a child in a school. So imagine the scenario. Uh, one child hurts another child. And uh, there's a kerfuffle. And they get an adult to help them. And it usually ends by one child saying, sorry, they might not want to do it. Or they might be fine with it. And sometimes the other child, the one who's been hurt, says, it's OK. And that seems to be the end of it. But is that forgiveness? It's not. It's not forgiveness because it's not OK for someone to hurt you. It's not okay to ignore these things. Uh, I don't believe that God thinks we should forgive uh, flippantly. I think that we should examine how we are hurt and make active choices because God gave us free will. And we should use that free will. So I looked up what forgiveness is, some definitions. And uh, I like the list of what forgiveness is not. So it is not hearing or, t or listening to someone say sorry, like in the scenario on the playground. Um, it might seem obvious. It's also not condoning the thing that the person has done. It is not acceptance, particularly not, oh, there's nothing I can do about it. Don't roll over and just accept it. That is not forgiveness. It is not capitulation which is giving in to someone else's will. And it is not stopping feeling angry. Now, stopping feeling angry might be part of the process of forgiveness. It has been for me. But stopping feeling angry can be a purpose in itself. Um, because feeling angry and sad and upset and hurt is a form of suffering. And I don't want to feel that. Sometimes I numb out rather than feeling angry and that's not forgiveness. Numbing out and not feeling our feelings. We're not being authentic humans. God made us body, mind and spirit. And Jesus taught us to forgive. He said, when you pray, say, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Or forgive us our sins or wrongdoings as we forgive those who trespass against us. Um, I don't know about you, but I have tripped up over those two letters as many, many times. Um, so now that I'm clear what forgiveness is not, I'm going to tell you my favorite definition of forgiveness. And this is from Roy Witten, who is an American pastor and one of the founders of the More to Life Foundation. Roy Witten said, forgiveness is the refusal the absolute unwillingness to hold ill will against another human being. So it is an act of will, a casting away, a throwing off, a getting rid of. 
Uh, so forgiveness is an active thing. We can't forgive if we don't feel. It's been my experience that I can't forgive if I don't feel the pain. If I don't see and experience all the hurt. And there has been much in my life and your life. Um, it has caused much suffering. So for me, not to numb out is an act of will. To feel my anger without feeling a false sense of power and feeling puffed up about it. To really feel the sorrow beneath that anger. That the world is not the place I want it to be. To really accept that this is how the world is right now. And recognize that I am equal to every human being. To forgive them. To give them back their humanity. Is um, an act of kindness to myself. Because often it isn't about the other person. If I'm holding resentment, it can be without the other person's knowledge at all. I can resent people that I've never even met. People like those guys that always push in front of me in the queue. Maybe at the traffic lights or somewhere else. People who ignore me. I can resent all of those people in a group and that's a sign that I'm resenting them because I'm putting them in a group and that takes away their humanity and then when I'm holding on to that anger pushing it down and depressing it it's literally depressing our feelings literally causes depression and this this is I think part of the reason we were told forgive others we ask God to forgive us as we forgive others because to let go of those things is an act of kindness to ourselves it's poisonous to hold resentment it's unhealthy to suppress our feelings <sighs> and some things are not okay But I don't want to ignore that. And I think that's what I mean now when I say the prayer that we say when we pick up the cross again. The bit about not shrinking from suffering. Feeling my own feelings. Not ignoring it. Knowing that the world is imperfect. That I am imperfect. And that I have free will, I have body, mind and spirit, and a choice for how I go forward in this world. We say the student and pilgrim prayer as we finish a station or a stop, we pick up the cross together and we say, Lord Jesus, may it be our privilege to bear your cross. May we glory in nothing else. By it, may the world be crucified unto us, and we unto the world. May we never shrink from suffering, but rather rejoice to be counted worthy to be suffering members of your mystical body. O Christ, live and suffer in each of us. Amen. Let's walk together. <laughs>